Hi, this is Digital Beersborn. Welcome back for more AP Art History. We're looking at the indigenous Americas, focusing today on Mesoamerica, specifically Mexico. With this piece known as the Tlatico female figurine. Let's start with the context. Like the camelid sacrum in the shape of a canine, this work is prehistoric, meaning that it predates written language. That prohibits us from knowing much about the context of this work. We don't know its intended function, we don't know the artist that made it, or the patron. What we do know is its original location in which it was found. Like the camelid sacrum, this piece was also found beneath Mexico City. This specific piece and the others like it were found in graves buried with the dead. Let's take a look at the formal qualities of this work. This sculpture is ceramic meaning that it's made out of clay. The clay has been sculpted and then fired in a kiln, a hot oven to harden the material. We could see the remnants of paint, both on the body and around the mouth. So we know that the sculpture was originally painted. Let's discuss the content of this work. The subject matter of this piece is a human figure, but we see some distinct and perhaps very interesting characteristics of the figure's body and head. Most notably, the figure has two faces that are conjoined on one head. We see two mouths, two noses, three eyes with the two faces sharing an eye in the middle. This is common to many of the sculptures found in these graves beneath Mexico City. Here are some other examples. We see figures that share a head with multiple faces or some figures that have multiple distinct heads as well. Now, not all of these figures have two faces or two heads. Some have a single head like this or like these, but many of them share that dual headed characteristic. Other common features, we see the arms are very de-emphasized, very small arms with just tiny nubs for hands. We also see a lot of emphasis on the hips of the figures. The waist is skinny with these large swelling hips. These are common features to all of the Tlatico figurines. Now, what that depicts is a mystery. Since we don't have the contextual information, all we can do is make some assumptions. We could compare it to other cultures. If you remember recently, we took a look at Hindu art. And in Hindu art, oftentimes deities are depict depicted with multiple heads or multiple faces. It's a possibility that perhaps this is a, uh, a visual signifier that the tlatical female figurines are depictions of gods or goddesses. The other possibility is that perhaps this is a depiction of a birth defect, conjoined twins. Conjoined twins are very rare, but it's a possibility that these figures are depictions of conjoined twins that share a body, but perhaps have multiple heads or multiple faces that are conjoined on one head. The true answer is unknown. The last thing I'd point out for the content is the attention paid to the hairstyle. We see a detailed hairstyle with decorations in it that have been painted. That attention paid to the hair might be a symbol of beauty or perhaps social status. Now the function of this work is a mystery. We don't know. 
The fact that it was found in graves buried with the dead hints at this perhaps being a ritualistic or religious object, something that people carried with them into the afterlife. If it was a religious object, perhaps it was a depiction of a god or goddess? Or perhaps it was a symbol that was used to show status or wealth in the afterlife? And that is the Telatico female figurine. 